Boom! Did I scare you? Did I? Did I? I guess not. What is up, my goons? It's me, again, the Goon Daddy. And we have a very special sponsor today. Today's episode is sponsored by Jesus! Where in your house you can receive many injuries. <laughs> How's that for an opening? Alright. My little brother. My, my dearest little brother. His name is Nate. Yeah. He was blessed with the blondest of hair. Okay? But I got stuck with this dirty blonde nearly almost brown. I got stuck with my dad's hair, which doesn't really bode well for me because my dad's bald. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I have my dad's hair. My brother got my mother's hair. Low-key jealous, but I got my dad's height and general build, so yeah. <laughs> Let's not talk about that, okay? We're gonna go... We're gonna go way back. Way back. When I was but a panda cub and my, my little brother was a tiny little raccoon cub. Dickens, see? And then we used to go to a church. We still go to church. Like every Sunday. Like church. You know. Uh, yes, we go to we used to go to church every Sunday. Like church. And well we used to go to church on days that weren't even Sunday. Uh, we used to go to church on Mondays, and Tuesdays, and also Wednesdays. Can't forget about Thursdays, Fridays, and also Saturdays. We used to go to church like every day, but not for like a service or anything. It's just because my mom really, really liked to volunteer there, like a lot. So much so that she ended up taking over the entire children's ministry business. Business. She didn't get paid uh, for it. But she was, she was the woman. She was the Wonder Woman behind the kids' club and the vacation Bible school and, you know, everything. That was my mom. She was that woman. And that's why me and my little brother and sometimes uh, a friend of ours would be there. This friend uh, is kind of a, a leftover when my mother used to run a daycare out of her house. Uh, this this child was one of those original daycare taken care of children that my mother used to take care of in those times. But my mother still babysat this child after she stopped her business, babysitting, because she was really good friends with, with the, the grandparents of this child. Um, so yeah, so. Some of the stories, I'm gonna, I think there's gonna be two or three, two or three stories that I'm about to tell you about the various injuries my brothers received in this house of the Lord. <laughs> uh, well, well, one of them it definitely includes this, this third child. Uh, we're just going to call her Stormy. My mother just left. <laughs> okay. Story number one. It was when I was so young, I can't even really remember most of it. Uh, the story is often told like this. My, my brother somehow got the idea into his blonde-headed skull that there was candy hidden inside of the fire extinguisher. So what does a four-year-old do when he hears rumors of candy being hidden in a fire extinguisher? He goes, you know, Poking and prodding around. He pokes a bit too much. Prods too joyously. And down does come the fire extinguisher. On his forehead. So I wasn't there. I wasn't there when it happened. Okay, I wasn't at the church. I was old enough to be at school. I was at school. But I came home to a brother with stitches in his forehead. And I was like, dang, what did I miss? What did I miss? <laughs> Apparently there was an ambulance ride, which as a young child, I was kind of mad that I wasn't able to partake in. Of course, what little child wouldn't love to ride in an ambulance? 
Apparently not my brother. He was bleeding from the forehead. <laughs> Next story. This is the story. This this, this is the story that involves Stormy. All right, it's me, my little brother, and Stormy. We were all hanging out. We were at church, you know. There, in the, in the sanctuary area, like the auditorium, area of the church. This church had a balcony. This balcony wasn't used for sitting though, it was used for storing crazy stuff that the youth ministry used. Stuff like, you know, an air hockey table. The legs didn't, you, the legs were broken, so we just kind of laid there. Still could be used to play air hockey though. And we did, we played air hockey. And it was awesome. Stuff like you know, wiffle ball bats and other various spherical projectiles that we would whip at each other for fun. One day, one day we, we, we noticed there was a black coil in the corner of this sanctuary storage area balcony place. It's a black coil. It's rope. We're on a balcony and we have rope. I wonder what happens next. <laughs> so we throw the rope over the side, and me and Stormy hold on to it. And my brother decides to rappel down. <laughs> he doesn't know how to rappel, but rappel he does. Unfortunately for him, <laughs> my grip was not good. My grip was not good. It was not. It was the opposite of good. And he fell. And <laughs> so there I am, looking over the side at my brother who's laying on the sanctuary floor like <laughs> knocked the wind out of him. He landed right on his back, which is good. He didn't like land on his head or anything. Land on his back. Which was all right, which is good. He didn't land on his head. He, he was relatively unscathed from dropping eight feet. Eight feet. Cause he, he made it most of the way down before my grip let loose. And Stormy's grip let loose. <laughs> and he fell. On the ground and got the wind knocked out of him. Yay. I think I ran and hid because I didn't want to be held responsible. I think I did initially go down and like check on him, but when I realized that he he wasn't bleeding at all, I think I booked it and hid somewhere. I didn't want to be there when my mom found out and got myself in trouble. For you know. Dropping my little brother off of a balcony. Which sounds way worse than what actually happened. Because uh, you know, that is what happened, but it, it, just, it just sounds really bad. Next story! So you know this, you know these things, there are, the, there are things but that stupid little kids do. Because there's this particular thing that stupid little kids do when there are really smooth rails on stairwells. It's called butt sliding. You kind of do a butt grind on your way down. It's like, oh yeah, all I gotta do is hold my balance. And there was, there was the best. There was this one stairwell in this old church that we used to go to. We still go to a church. This is a church. There's this one stairwell that really, really good sliding rails for grinding down on your butt, like, oh! Naturally, many, many injury did occur. <laughs> but, <laughs> my brother got hurt a lot. He was really good at it though. Surprisingly, he was really good at, you know, grinding down these rails, but, 
was very clumsy also, and often got himself injured. I think there's, there was this one, one time, one time we were grinding down, he did a freaking 180 flip, like a cartwheel. He was like coming down like this, going down like this, and I freaking tipped over and freaking 180 it down onto the stairs! How this kid survived, I have no idea. I've got no idea how this kid survived, but he did. He survived. How? What the heck? <sighs> Me and my brother, incredibly tenacious people. And next week, I'm gonna tell you my theory as to how we became so dang tenacious. But until next week, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm Green Daddy, and I love you.